Alrighty, y'all, we are back. Uh, this is our PBK Week 5 Draft League match against Christopher. Um, number pretty fun. I'm excited to see who he brought. Um, he has a pretty cool team. Uh, let me throw up the GG. Mill Tank, he has the Galarian Moltres, right? So, um, it's definitely a hard matchup for our team. I think because we do have a. Uh, Let's um, The greatest um, against that specific stop. We're very specially inclined. Um. So I think for game one, I do want to go Cooper Raja. Oh, wow. I kind of like the idea of Cooper Raja here with maybe like... It depends. I think he might want to bring him back. Get a weakness policy activation. So I think Cooperacha and Clef is a really good one. And I think a Sargor in the back paired with like. Honestly, Spectre could be good here. Frost Watch could be good. Ghost Spike could be pretty good. I think we're gonna go Spectre. This first game. Oh man. I guess Frostmoth too. I didn't even consider Frostmoth. Could be a cool little rendition as well. You know, you get the max air streams, you get max hail, you get, you know, um, you could set up a quiver dance with it. It could be pretty, pretty powerful. Uh, this is fun. Chris is a really great opponent, man. Um, I battled him in a couple tournaments, uh, you know, finals and whatnot. So, uh, definitely a good, good opponent. Me and him had a, a, a nice, that where I lost in the tournament, came back and beat him in the finals, and then uh, in the grand finals he won, he won, uh, and all, all I think all were like three games. Um, very very strong opponent. Okay, so we do in fact see this guy. So we're just gonna go ahead and go for that and. Go for the follow me here uh, to prevent any weakness policy proccing. Uh, let me write down who we brought. We brought Coop and we brought Clef. My opponent brought Moltres and they brought Compe. Um, so he goes ahead and he, he gets the Intimidate um, with the Mawile here. Uh, that's actually a really, really good play on my opponent's part. Um, so let's see here. I'm curious what he did with Compat here, right? Because Compat is definitely a Pokemon that can do a little bit, but not a lot. Could potentially be an ally switch. Okay, goes ahead and throws the taunt out. Smart play, smart play. This will probably not. Oh, it still picks up the kill, actually. Oh, that's really good. Oh, it was a crit. Um, I think that didn't matter. Oh, I'm not G-Max. Oh, wow. Okay. I thought I was. I mean, it doesn't matter because I'm still spiked, but it's still interesting play. Um, so let's go ahead and get kills and death the column set up here. Uh, Conte is officially dead. Cooper Raja has officially picked up its first kill of this game. Frisk. You know I have weakness policy, you know I have Eevee Light. I mean, not, not, not like a surprise. 
really. Um, I think I'd rather go ahead and just max Flare into the Mawile, and then go ahead and bring on Spect here. Spect here. Um, and then I need to set up the grassy terrain. There's a will o wisp. Okay. So, yeah, that's unfortunate for us. Iron head, yep. Yeah. So now what I'm going to do is I will, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get my terrain. I do want to get my terrain up. Like I kind of have to get my terrain up. For what I have in the back. And I'm going to go ahead and bulldoze just to get my policy activated to get Kukaraja doing damage again, I think. It should be able to pick up the kill here on Spect here. Um, we'll see what he goes to. I think he'll probably want to go into. He'll, he'll probably max Gorgeous this year, uh, just because it offers a lot of um, a lot of alternative gameplay for him. So he does in fact max the Gorgeous. This. I gotta write that one down actually. Gorge. Uh, max guard, I'm cool with that. Um, sucker punch. Oh, sucker punch them all out. That's, oh, that's frustrating. Okay. That's not good at all. to think of how I want to do this. That burn, man. That burn was a problem. Um, I can't really heat crash anything. Like, I could still heat crash them all while here. And just, um... Throw up a protect. I think. To avoid the iron head. Okay. Superpower. The thing is, how many turns left do you have? I should just throw this off now. I'm 
making a play here. Okay. Nasty plot. Got it. That's a gleam. Okay. No berserk activating yet. Um, Phantasm in the hood. Clef. Yeah, you want to get Clef out of here. Okay. Gorge picks up a kill. Heavy slam now. Berserk activates. Uh, I don't love this, man. I really don't. Getting burned was such a issue. is over with which that means I can heat crash this and I can go for the sludge bomb and mole trace force you to switch it out or pick up a kill or you protect but with my defense increase on Sogor I don't think you pick up a kill with anything from Gorge on the Sogor Should kill Moltres here. here. You could just pivot out. Which that'd be a good play by my opponent. We'll see. We'll see what he does. He hasn't revealed protect yet. Oh no! You lived my fiery wrath. Dude, I'm like max special attack too. So you must be an incredibly bulky Moltres. same lead here and because I know gorgeous is, is in the back um, maybe I will bring frost glass well I mean back here can still hit it really really well I'm just gonna bring the same four I think I just think I had the position a little better with what he had. Um, I wasn't expecting the soccer punch. I really wasn't expecting anything else. So, all right, we have Gastrodon and we have Moltres here. Okay. Is am I worried about anything Gastron can do? Like, it can't scald. I can't afford to take a scald. Oh, man, 
love my drip. This sucks. Gastro, Moltres. Moltres was honestly like the hardest thing for me to prep against like, with this with this match here because I really don't have a great check in the Moltres. Um, he hasn't been able to use it very well um, this season so far. He's had a lot of people where like they have the checks into it, and if you have a check into it, it's very easy to get around. Uh, so Moltres will get a nasty plot up here. Uh, so we can't expect Fiery Wrath now. Um, max Overgrowth, it will have the Berry. Okay. Plus two, Max Overgrowth. Probably does about 80 to 90. I oh, don't know, it still picked up the KO. Great. So Coop will pick up the KO. Gastro will die. Let me just rewrite the KDs here so I don't get confused. Alright, so let's see who he goes to now. If he goes to his burner, I will just do something else. He goes to Mawile. Mawile's going to throw an Intimidate out. Protect here. Fiery Wrath. I'm curious to see how much this does. Okay, that's not horrible actually. That's not a lot of damage. Just knuckle in the mole trays. I don't have anything that hits it better than that, right? So I really need him to kill this turn to kill something. Does not kill. Damn. That's unfortunate. And that's really unfortunate for us. Um... So this should be a double KO here. Clefairy and like play around it but I mean I guess protecting Clef would have been pretty good there too because I would have had Spectre come out and Spectre helping hand just one shot score just just right um, and I know what Mawile can do 
I know my wife's gonna want to go for sucker punch. Um. My opponent has yet to max, so that's an issue. No, I forgot the right. So Moltres picked up two kills and then died from recoil. And then Clef picked up zero kills and died. Coop died, only had the one kill. So here... I think I can go ahead and go for, let me just go ahead and, there's Water Shuriken, do I think Water Shuriken is enough to pick up the KO in my while? I think it could potentially pick up the KO in my while. And then just to be safe, I'll go ahead and burn Gorgeous's. This is tricky. This is a very, very tricky play here. I don't remember if it was physical or special. I feel like it was special. Um, basically, we are just hoping that the water shuriken does indeed pick up the cat in a while. It does use protect here. It got us that damn protect. Got us. Okay. GG, man. G fucking G. I think you're out of K range from Water Shuriken, unfortunately. That's a good game. It's Max Guard Gorgeous is here just to guarantee you win. Yeah. That's the play. Oh no, he's not even going to do it. I mean, Water Shark is not going to pick up the KO unless I get like a crit. Oh wow. Um. That was, that was definitely the luck we needed right there, man. 100%. Okay, so we picked up four kills. He had two. Uh, so now we go to game three. Man.
Do I change it up here and go somewhere? Do I just go coop again? Here, yeah, my oh, while wow. I'll try this. G GG, so bad for us. That's so bad for us. Ah! Oh man, that's rough. Um, okay, so my opponent here would probably want to just, um, Officially showed him Spectier and uh, Coop Roger. Coop. Let's see what Gastrodon does here. This could be a big, big, big thing. Gastro, Maltrace. Oh, yeah, a jack button. Let's try it. Who's the fourth one? Whoever the fourth one is. Did he show his fourth one? Did we kill anything? No, wait. I don't know. Remember, kills and deaths. Kills and deaths. Frost Blast Zero kills, one death. Okay. Um. I kind of would like to try and just get a wisp off on the mobile and then go for like a maybe a steel spike in the little trace. Thank you.
Um, so what would be the ideal play? Leave Moltres in, go for a nasty plot, and go for Sucker Punch. Nasty plus Sucker Punch would be the ideal play because I can just burn, avoid Sucker Punch once. I mean, you can also go for, you know, just Fiery Wrath right here to just guarantee the damage on him. I think that's what you opted to. Let me pick up the kill on Moltres. Moltres, we don't give Moltres any kills this game. Mawile did have one kill. I almost forgot about that. Man, this is a fucking insane match, dude. Here comes Gastrodon again. Um, question is, does Gastrodon have Protect? I'm just gonna switch into... Galissapod. I want to preserve my one big hit from Spectre that I'm guaranteed. And then go ahead and just um, try and throw an Overgrowth in the Gastron. Let's see who he brought forth. I, I think he probably brought Gorge again. Because, I mean, he's brought Gorge, Mal, Al, Moltres, Gastron, the previous game. I think he brings it again this game. Let's see, does he double protect here? He goes for a yawn. Okay. Overgrowth should pick up this kill. Alright. Gastron dies. Let me see if his fourth is indeed who I think it is. Um. Mawile's burned. It's a physical Pokemon that is burned. It's not as big of a threat as everything else. Um, I do ex think he'll probably try and max guard the Gorge here. Like, I could see him going for a max guard on it. Because I don't think you'd want to let me have an attack into it. So I'm going to Sucker Punch the Gorgeous Iced, and I'm going to just go ahead and try it and get the Max Flare in the Mawile here, because I know I can protect, and just get the kill that I, I'm I know I'm guaranteed, right? Like, that's kind of my, my my plan right here, is to just take what I, can, I know I can take. Um, he could go for a double protect here with Mawile, too. That'd be pretty cool if he got it. The bounce off that crit that for sure helped me in the last game with the Sogor. Um, Alright, so Max and Gorgeous Ice. Is he going to max guard? If he max guards, then I made the correct play. If he does not max guard, then I probably should just max flare Gorgeous Ice right here to get as much damage into it as I could. Because Mobile's burned, so I'm not too worried about it. He does not max guard it. That sucks. Phantasm into, I'm assuming, Pod. Yes. Emergency exit. And Cooper, I just max flare. Will now come out. My controller is really annoying right now. Um. Yeah, gorgeous fourth one. Max Flare. I mean, Max Flare should pick up this KO. Yep, Cooper Rogers picks up the KO with Max Flare. Three kills. And it will come down to. It's honestly just going to come down to waking up, man. That's what this whole thing is going to come down to, is if we can wake up fast enough to counter this. So, uh, we know for a fact that Shadow Ball should do 
will do a lot of damage. We've got a definitely Shadow Ball here. And honestly, because we're asleep, I'm fine just trying to throw a Heat Crash or two on. And just kind of just going by that. So Shadow Ball comes out. About two Sucker Punches away from dying. Um, special Defense Falls. There's the Phantasm to kill Spectre. My wild did die. Or just picks up kill number two for this game. Alright, man. This is where it boils down to. This is, this is where it gets heavy. All falls on sleep turns. Man. Sleep turns is what's going to affect this game. That's crazy. <laughs> like, that really is insane, man. As sleep is what's going to decide this. Suspect here, zero kills, one death this round. Um, you know, I think that, like, I'm almost forced to sucker punch. And I guess just go for a power whip. Virgicide now picks up Glissopod. Second kill. Glissopod now takes its death. 1-1. One, one. Will we wake up? Where we woke up. Power whip. We avo he avoids it. GG. Oh, man. I think a power whip hits there. I think we might pull through. Honestly. Oh, that was such a, such a set, dude. Such a set, man. I'm glad that it was gorgeous, gorgeous sites that like caused me a lot of my issues this, this series. Um, you know, I definitely was more concerned. I thought he would try and bring in Mill Tank um, because it is immune to Spectre stab. It, uh, I thought that would have been a really, really good one for him. Um, and it can handle Coop. It can hit Coop pretty good. So uh, I definitely thought that was going to be the Pokemon he runs what he ran with. Um, and he lands the power whip. Are you kidding me? Oh, we survived the power whip. Oh, goodness. Wow. Coop picks up his four kills. Gorgeous takes its death. Four, three. Wow. All right. And um, with that, we are 5-0. and oh, And we continue the undefeated draft league season. Uh, and, you know, Chris was honestly, Chris was the guy who I said I really thought, like, would break the streak because um, he's a very good competitor. And, you know, we battled a lot. So he, he's pretty familiar with my tendencies and my style as far as battling and, like, how I like to build or run things, you know what I'm saying? So um, I definitely thought this was going to be one of my hardest games. And, yeah, great feeling to pull through. And... Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to check out the other videos. And as always, like and subscribe.